Well, when you start GK Plus, you'll be faced with this screen. Not terribly interesting until you hit File and New, and up pops a selection of templates. You can add your own here, and uh, we'll imagine for the moment we pick one called First Design Studio. We'll open it up. Now the whole interface changes. We've got a white background. We could change that if we wanted to, to a dark black background. Let's put it back to white because it's a little easier for you to see what I'm doing and if I select this line which we put into the template and you see its length is 10,000 we're working in the metric environment so it's 10,000 units or 10 meters that line represents 10 meters what I'm going to do is rotate that line I'll pick it and rotate it when I right click up popped that message I'll turn off save at the moment you can change the save interval and uh, I'll say no for the moment I'm asked to specify a base point so I'll, I'll just click on that what's called a handle there and then I'll rotate it by and because polar is on down in the status line I can click that like so so we have a, a line let's imagine that that line and in fact that piece of text I want to move it I want to move it over somewhere to the right of screen let's imagine that represents the footprint of a house you put down the footprint by simply saying let me just change my drawing color to red and draw a line so if I wanted to draw accurately the footprint of the house I'd click to the end there point in the direction that I want to go in let's imagine our first movement is five our first measurement is five meters in that direction maybe we come in 1,500, 1.5 meters and we go up in this direction let me just close that we go in in this direction here another two meters and I'll exit from there so that the red represents the actual footprint of the house we want to cannibalize one of our earlier designs that's when CAD really gets powerful so we'll say library designs and we'll look through some of these designs until we find one that we think might suit here's one where there's an entrance there into a rear garden so let's open it and insert it into the drawing and there it is now let's imagine that the entrance is, is in that that's a little zone through there we could position this like so so there's our design placed and let's zoom extents which is show the whole drawing so we'll remove our original 10 meter line because the red represents the real footprint of the house so we're saying the house footprint itself extends up here there's some sort of path running here um, there was in the original design a window in there um, and that solid bit there represented a house the house wall rather what we're interested in doing now though is we want to break this design up so we can select it and explode it that means we can get rid of any parts of the, that drawing that we don't want to use and you can see the way that I'm working we'll get rid of it and that's as far as I'll take it for the moment but can you see you can exit from the door here on some slabs going through there step up onto a compacted dolomite some brick edging around there here's the garden there's already some watering system in there's a screen there and a screen there and when we go to the landscape plan it's nearly set the way we want it so we just double click here that brings up this magenta box so we simply position the box and display it on the layout so there's our design already taking shape now to my eyes this zone through here looks to be a little too large so you just select that zone hold the shift key down and deselect that one 
and right click and scale and we'll knock that down by a half and escape so there if we there's our drawing our information of the site and so on we can put in our uh, our boundaries and improve on the footprint um, getting rid of various entities as we go in order to get rid of those I have to go back to the model I'll right click and zoom extends and then we come in here to remove those and I'll set a window around these and get rid of there so I would continue on with my house footprint and I'd be able to finish the design in relatively short space of time so that's when building on your previous design work really improves the productivity of CAD you do have an enormous library of symbols that you can use and we're just scrolling down through them now to show you some of these symbols that are there